what's up everyone we are back with another video on the channel and today we are doing something we haven't done before on here today we are breaking down the top five receivers from this draft class so at number five we have ron Moore. he is considered to be the shiftiest player in this draft class he smartly opted out of the 2020 season to preserve what he had done in the season before 2018, he had 1,258 yards, 12 touchdowns on 114 receptions. His run after the catch is crazy, and the combination of his speed and vision is just unbelievable. An NFL player that reminds me of Moore is Steve Smith. Rondell Moore just might be the most underrated player going into the draft. Now, on to number four. At number four, we have Rashad Bateman. Bateman could be this year's Justin Jefferson. He is projected to go around the same time as Jefferson, and they both have the same characteristics. Last year, he did not have the, the year he hoped he would have. He had 36, on 36 receptions, he only had two touchdowns and around 472 yards. Yeah, not the best. But in 2019, he was used a lot more. He had around 12,000 yards with 11 touchdowns. Next, on the number three. Now for number three, we have Jalen Waddle. Waddle is going into to the year as Alabama's number one receiver. That was until he got hurt a few weeks into the season. He would not return either, but he is easily the fastest receiver in this draft class. He was on track to have an amazing season. In just a few games, he had 591 yards, 4 touchdowns, on only 28 receptions. That's unbelievable. His run after the catch ability is what stands out to a lot of scouts. He could have won the Heisman easily if it weren't for his injury and the fact that Devontae Smith had one of the best receiving performances in college football history and now up next is our number two so at number two we have Devontae Smith he had one of the best wide receivers seasons of all time as I said before Smith is a tall and has great hands his shiftiness helps him to go around and through players easily he was closing in on a 2,000 yard receiving season just in the regular season not only did he win the Heisman, but he also had about 1,800 yards on 117 receptions. He had with 23 touchdowns. That's crazy because we haven't seen anything like that in years. And num number one, we have Jamar Chase. Chase smartly opted out of the 2020 season, but is still projected to go to top three on most draft predictions. He has such a great athletic ability, but his hands, route running, and production is what makes him a top three talent. As I said before, he opted out of the of last year, but in 2019, he had 84 receptions for about 1,700 yards and 20 touchdowns. For all those reasons, that is why he is our number one. Jamar Chase, has we have not seen someone like Jamar Chase in a long time. He is about six foot tall, but can catch around up over almost anyone. If you guys are new, please sure you like and subscribe. That would really mean a lot. We post a lot of football content, so liking and subscribing and turn on the post notifications would be appreciated. And thank you all for watching.